Hey boys, what's up? And today we're gonna be testing Milk Out in Arena because why not? Milk's uh, Chad, first of all. Second of all, Milk kinda strong. Uh, and third, why not? Uh, but yeah, let's hop into the video here. All right, guys. So for this team, we're gonna be using Finn, Milk, Espresso, Vamp, and also Unicorn Cookie. Uh, as for treasures, we're gonna be using the Jelly Clock the attack scroll and we're gonna be using monocle for that good juicy healing all right guys and as for toppings we are running full cooldown fin we are running full almond milk we want to make sure milk's cooldown is not too high because if milk's cooldown is too high he will launch his ability off before Finn. so that means Finn won't give a shield to your espresso and you don't want that so you want Finn to go first uh then it usually goes Finn, espresso vamp unicorn and then this uh, sometimes it'll go like Finn, Espresso, Milk, and then the rest. Uh, it just depends sometimes on how the cookies get moved around and, uh, stunned and whatnot. Uh, then we have full attack on the boy Espresso here with 24% damage res. Full attack on the boy fucking Vamp here with 23% damage res. And of course, for Unicorn, we have full damage res with an 8.3% cooldown. So hopefully this goes well and we don't get our asses beat. But, you know how that goes. So, yeah, guys, let's hop right into it and see how this goes. All right, guys. So, normally, we would do, you know, one Masters 3, a lot of Masters 2, and then one Master 1 to really test the team out and see how it does in Arena. But, uh, the Arena just reset, like, maybe a week ago, if that. Uh, so, everyone's ranks are kind of out of whack. So, uh, I don't really have a baseline to run this off of this time. Maybe we could run against a Masters 4, because that might be a Masters 3. Uh, but, yeah, we're going to run against a Masters 3 here first, and we're just going to do our matches as normal without the whole baseline stuff. We'll maybe do that in a later video again whenever we get back into a situated positioning in Arena. But, yep, as for now, in this video, we're going to be running like this. All right, guys, right into it here. Finn, look at that, right on Espresso there. Milk is not going to pop his ability. Oh, there we go. Milk's popping the ability off now. <gasps> My God, he's almost dead. Please don't die on me right now. Oh, wait. Uh, their Frost Queen's dead, so that means no more Frozone zone for them. They can't freeze me anymore. Uh, Finn's going to pop off there. Hopefully, we get that ability off. Oh, revive there. Big ups. Okay, Eclair is now dead. Uh, now we just got to worry about... Oh. Okay, and now all I'll do worry about is Wildberry and Pomegranate. So, that's pretty good. Yeah, we kill there pretty much. Yeah, this match is pretty much in the bag. Yeah, we're 1-0, boys. Uh, honestly, this, this fucking Wildberry can't stop us. Uh, no one can stop us at this point. Milk's just hard carry Chad. Let's check out some of the stats here as well of what we have for Milk. Milk really doesn't do too much damage, but I have seen him do over 2 million, dam 2 million damage before, so that's kind of wonky. Yep, look at that. Received the most damage that round. Absolutely doing his job. Anyways, guys, we're going to head on to the next match here. Hopefully, it goes the same as this match. All right, guys, we're on to our next competitor here. As you can see, they're running a Dark Cacao, Wildberry, Pomegranate, Eclair, and also Herb Cookie. Hopefully, our vamp can snipe the shit out of that herb cookie because herb will get annoying. Uh, but if he can't, then that'll be fine too. Uh, fortunately, if if Milk can pop off the ability in time, uh, which he didn't there. I was saying if Milk can pop off his ability in time before Wildberry stuns, then uh, sometimes he will catch that Eclair debuff instead of, uh, instead of one of your DPS catching it. So that means no more, dam no more extra damage taken from them. Uh, this is, pr I, I would say this is probably going to be a pretty easy match, honestly. Uh, yeah, they're, yeah, it's just over with at this point. That's, uh, that's 2-0 right now. We're paw, we're paw getting along right now. Uh, really haven't faced any serious threats yet to our team's, uh, integrity. But, maybe next match, maybe next match will, will throw us for a loop. But as for this one, we win. On to the next one. Alright guys, on to our third match here. I think we're going to lose this because I don't think they're running a vamp, judging from their power here. Uh, it's probably a cotton and an offo right here, uh, especially with the attack speed scroll. We're just gonna cuck our uh, our monocle here, but let's just go into it and test. Wait, it's a herb, so a herb and an offo then, right? Has to be a herb and offo, right? It couldn't be anything else, right? A herb and offo. Whoa. Okay, a herb and a palm for double healing. They're relying on, they're relying solely on. Um, Solely on uh, Caramel and Eclair for DPS. So that means if we can kill that Eclair quite quickly, then that means uh, it's a dub for us, really. Uh, almost an assured dub, actually, if we can kill it, kill it fast enough. 
Oh, didn't die. Oh my god. On the edge of death. He didn't die. He's up and he's alive. Yes! Milku's coming through for us yet again, boys. Milk's coming through for us yet again. And we win another one. 3-0 and oh right now with this team. Milk is absolutely popping off, dude. All right, guys. It is time to test out now how Milk does against a hybrid summoner comp. Hopefully, he does well against this hybrid summoner comp. He's running a dark cacao in the front, which kind of throws off the momentum. But he is running this, so you do get extra crit rate. Uh, let's just hop into the match here. Uh, and see how he does, or how this team does, against a summoner comp. Hopefully, it does not It does well, clutches up, but I can't see it winning. Uh, this team absolutely, the, the summoner team absolutely counters the team that I'm using. But let's see how big of a difference a milk can actually make in this comp. Uh, okay, I'm taking big fucking Ooga Booga damage right now. Okay, but we're gonna hit with that, we're gonna hit that. Milk's gonna pop ability off again, draw all aggro from all the summons yet again. Uh, Shield's going back onto that. Milk is probably going to get uh, his cheeks clapped right here. Unless we get a big... Not a really a big heal. Okay, yeah, I think we still die here. Oh, wait, who's still alive? Oh, wait, Crunchy Chip's still alive. Crunchy Chip is still alive. Oh, wait, but all their summons are just about over with. Hold on. Okay, Crunchy Chip's down. We just have to survive now. We just have to survive now. All we have to do is survive. All we have to do is survive now. Oh my god! We won! We beat it! We actually beat it! Milk actually clutched up there! Huh! Four! No, four and zero. What am I saying? Four and one! Four and zero! <laughs> Milk clutched up with 1.2 million damage! Alright, here's a team, guys, that I think I'm gonna get completely demolished against, but we're gonna try it out nonetheless here. Masters 2, 1.2 mil power. An absolutely 5A chatted out fucking unicorn, 2A fucking wild berry, uh, and a fucking 5 star dark fucking cacao. What a fucking whale lord this guy is here. Anyways, guys, let's hop right into the match here. Hopefully, we don't take an L, but we probably will take an L. Wait, they're in Kira? Wait, they're in fucking Sad Knees Guild, guys. Sad Knees Guild. They're in Sad Knees Guild. I cannot believe this. Okay. Easy shield for a Milku Dilku. Wait, who are they running in the middle? They're, they're, oh, they're running an Eclair. Okay, so that's what they're, they're running an Eclair in the middle. Okay, big heal coming out there from our Unicorn. Big ups to our Unicorn there. Uh, big shield there. They should also be taking some damage there as well. Ooh, please! No! Oh my god, guys. Oh! I actually just got trolled right there. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I think we lose this. Okay, and we missed there. Oh my god, yeah, this is not going well. Our timings are off, and we fucking missed, like, three attacks. Yo, that team didn't seem bad. That team did not seem bad at all. Dark Cacao, well, I guess this guy was chatted out, too. Ranked 217, my ass, bro. Yeah, we lost that match, of course. We're 4-1 and one now, but that could be, like, our Masters 1 match. He's ranked 217. I, w I would consider that, like, our Masters 1 match. Tight match there. Anyways, guys, on to the next match, our sixth match of the day. All right, guys, on to our sixth match now against this guy here. Uh, I have no clue what this guy is even running. I don't really care, though, either, because I think we're going to, I think we win this. I have a strong suspicion that we win this. Uh, though, wait, they're running a, ooh, they're running Holly Berry, brother. Wait, what the fuck? Holly Berry, dude. <laughs> I ain't never, I ain't seen a Holly Berry in arena in a minute. What the hell's going on here? <laughs> Holly? Who in their right mind runs Holly in Arena now? Ain't no way. Oh my god, dude. Do -do 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 -do. They're running Holly in Arena. What the fuck are they do? What the fuck are they do? What? Never mind. Nah, bro. Oh my gosh. Ew. Okay, dude. Uh, this is what happens when you run Holly, guys. This is what happens when you guys run Holly in Arena. You get absolutely eviscerated. Uh, that's 6-1 now. This is shaping up like it could be our one of our best teams we've ever made before. 6-1 <laughs> with the boy Milk right now. Or 5-1 uh, with the boy Milk right now. We have one more match left. Our 7th match of the day. Alright, boys. On to our last match of the day here. Our 7th and final. I think they're running Finn, Caramel, Arrow, uh, Espresso, Vamp, and obviously Unicorn Cream here. But judging from this, they have a level 11 uh, uh, robes here, 
which means they're probably running a caramel arrow here. They can either be running a wild berry caramel arrow or caramel arrow espresso. Let's hop into the match here, see what exactly they're running, and see if we can come out on top. I would really want to face the uh, the espresso caramel arrow team, but that might not be the case. It might be a wild berry. Nope. Okay, I did want to face this team. I do want to see how this team does here against them. Um, people were claiming that uh, that that uh, espresso comps and melted milk really quick. So we're going to put that to the test here and see how fast the milk dies or if he doesn't die and prevails through the match here and absolutely cleaves for us. Okay, well, our espresso is dead. Uh, actually, so dead right now. Okay, but we're going to go attack. Wait, I think they're uh, okay. Their healer is dead. Their healer is hell. Oh, my monocle. It actually hold me. Okay, my monocle hold me, boys. Okay, that's it, boys. We did lose this match here. We did lose the match there. Okay, boys. So, we're coming out. Coming out here. You know, 5-2. and two. Uh, A decent team. That team does shred milk, as they did say. So, yeah, guys. What I would really say is watch out for Wildberry Caramel Arrow Comps. Uh, they shred you. And also watch out for some of the Caramel Arrow Comps as well. If they have, like, higher higher uh, artifacts than you do or treasures than you do. Because uh, they, will, they will shred you too. So, uh, as far as that can be said a milk is fairly good against summoners uh of course you can alternate unit some using one team in arena is really not viable at higher masters anyways but uh milk did a pretty good job defending against most of the comps we played against today uh on top of that uh milk is i think milk's is pretty good i think milk's is pretty good i think he's a pretty good a pretty good tank in the front uh the downsides to milk is milk gets absolutely shredded by wildberry because wildberry will knock him back and it won't let him use his ability or taunt anyone which is kind of down bad but you know how that goes. Um, and also, it looks like that team shreds us as well. Now, for summoners, I would say swap out uh, Vampire for maybe another AoE attacker just to try to kill those. Or maybe even run a Caramel Arrow instead of Vamp as well. You could try that. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this video today. Hope you guys have a great one. Make sure to come follow us on twitch.tv forward slash YouTube. Can't see me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Bye-bye.